How you doing everybody? It's uh, Wednesday the 4th of August 2010. Um, I've been away for a while. Had to go and try and earn some money. Um, my uh, The little business I'm involved in here in Ireland. Uh, I'm a sole trader and it's gone down a tube so it just means I have to go off to other places to try and earn a living. And uh, I, this time I went to the UK. Uh, when I was younger, when this sort of thing happened in the eighties, I used to go to America. I used to go to, the, to go to New York. But anyway, uh, I was away, and I got back last week, and being away just gave me a bit of time to think to myself and have a look on the internet and have a look at myself on the internet because obviously I wanted to see what other people thought about me because generally I never, I never look at these things when I put them on the internet. That's it. I just stick them on and that's it. But. Uh, One of the things that uh, one of the things that happened was uh, I, I think really I, I don't really want to be making nine and ten minute videos unless it's of something quite important. I think I ramble on a bit and I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a time short in life and just I'll try and minimise it down to four or five minutes or six minutes at the max. Um, when I was away, I met a very interesting couple. They were from Germany. Uh, the man's a teacher, primary school teacher. And in their thirties, the girl was involved in some sort of uh, social things with children. I think she worked for they're, they're for, they were from Dusseldorf. I think she worked in some of the, some of the state uh, kindergartens or something. They're both academics. They're nice. They're on the holidays. Uh, ended up in London, and uh, where I physically was staying, I was staying with a friend of mine, and uh, he he was away off. He's a traveller. He travels all around the place, and he was away off. And uh, I decided to go out and get some to eat. And I went to a little local cafe, restaurant place. And this couple were there. And there was loads of other people there. But I got talking to these people because they were sitting at the next table to me. And we were talking about various things. We were talking about Ireland. And I was saying that uh, Ireland was the biggest uh, debtor nation to the, uh, within, the, within the EU to Germany. And that uh, we owed um, Germany 224 billion. Our banks did, and he was astounded that he never heard that before. And uh, then we started talking about he was he was telling me about uh, basically three things come out of it. That came out of it, and also the fact that uh, he was laughing when I got up to to pay for the the, the food that I had because uh, I and I also wanted to pay for a drink. I got the drinks, pay for drinks, and he was laughing. I didn't use a credit card. And he said they didn't use credit cards either. Him, him and his wife didn't use credit cards either. They had credit cards, but they only used them on very, very rare occasions. And he said they didn't call them credit cards. They called them debt cards. <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. That was freaking brilliant. Because that's exactly what it is. It's credit to the bank, but it's debt to you. And they're charging you. He was saying about the Bank of America charging nearly 20%. And if you worked it out over five years with compounded interest, it was like a colossal sum of money. It was total usury. But even at 20%, that's that's not good. But anyway, uh, that was a story. So uh, it's probably the most expensive money you could ever you could ever get your get, get access to. So uh, that then led on to me pointing out to him that uh, the two most the two largest saving nations in the world are Japan and Germany. And I said I thought that was extraordinary uh, after the war that you would think it wouldn't be that case. The the two defeated nations were. The biggest savers, and I asked him that he could he, you know, explain why, from a German point of view, why why it was that way, and he thought about it, and he said that it really Germans had a cynical sort of approach towards the state, that you know the state had brought them in the Second World War and in the First World War. Uh, you know, it had virtually collapsed their economy by bringing them into, certainly in the Second World War, Hitler and the fascists bringing them into an interface with the rest of the world. Uh, not just an economic interface, but a political and a, and a military one. And it collapsed society. As I say, this guy spoke English. I was stunned. Like This guy spoke English probably better than I did. And he obviously very well read. And uh, for, a man, for a young man in his mid-30s, he was 
one break kooky karacha so uh that's all really i want to say about that um i met up with lots of other people and we'll talk maybe later about them but uh the, the two german teachers i thought were fascinating and they gave me a wonderful insight into as i say the most either the first or second most uh, credit worthy nation in the world in terms of personal and uh, our lack of personal indebtedness now, listen we'll talk more on, and don't forget not credit cards debt cards okay bye